Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Crypto Trader underscore. It is 11 p.m. We got one more hour before it's September 2nd. I'm just checking back in with you guys. Here's the uh, EMA extractor strategy that I just uh, finished coding and I'm just deploying it because I believe it has long term. Uh, potentiality I should say expectancy I expect this thing you know because I've actually back tested from my out, 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 out for a year back which I can't do on trading if you had to build my own tools soon I'm gonna have a visual tool out there for everybody to gander at I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or just provide it on the web I don't know it's just back testing tools are just they're not really good. There's just the only big, good back testing tool is TradingView. That's what's crazy. And I think it's a must. If I mean, especially if you're a, if you design bots. I mean, if you trade, come on, man. If you just even just trade, you need something to back test your strategies on. It's crazy. All right. So, I don't know how people trade without this stuff, man. But anyways, look. Let's back on to this Bitcoin volume stuff, man. I've been looking at this. Trying to figure out ways that I can make my chart give me a good impression. So I got the zero line right here. Negative, negative. That's weird, huh? Negative. Don't, don't worry. This stuff sucks. All right. Don't worry about the values here. I'm not going to turn on the volume values right here. Maybe, maybe I might go in here. Let's see. Volume. Look. See, there you go. Right here. 22K. I don't even know what that means because this is. Korean won. I don't really care about this stuff. I'm not about to look at these values. All right. So what I'm going to do is basically this. I'm going to use the chart. Chart tells you everything. All right. You need nothing else but a chart. Fuck fundamentals. Fuck all that shit. Figure out which exchange is doing business and you got a reason why we're turning bullish right here. Back in last September, a year ago, from September to September. Look at that. You see that line? That is interesting, right? So the market gets a kind of like starts seeing more volume in October, but September kind of like a bottom right here. Am I right? September first, right here. I'm not gonna say this, but this is over in Korea. Boom! No volume at, up at these levels. Nobody really selling. People buying, but they got to buy from up here. It just shoots price right, right up there. So look. Here it is. Boom. Look at that. That's a lot of fucking volume right here. Just to take it up to this part right here. Boom. What are we going to do? Here it is. This is what we're going to do different. Let's look at the two day. All right. Check that out. You know. These are actually, you know. Let's look at the three day. Check that. I got Hakanashi's on because it just lets you know where's the top and where's the bottom. Right? Top and the bottom. Bottom, top. Interesting, right? Real bottom right down there. Alright, this is three days. Let's look at the weekly. That is interesting. Now, that is interesting. Okay? The weekly. Learn a lot looking at this chart right here about this market we're in, okay? We got the green, this week, when did this week start? 27th? How many more days we got left in this week? To the third, so we got two. We got six more days. Boom! That's simple. Is it three more days? Six more days? Actually, three more days, yeah. Three more days, so I should start my, my charts on the 27th. We got three more days. So the 20th, these weeks are interesting how they start. 13th, some of my back test data doesn't even do this type of stuff. Because if I go up in here, the 20, to me, the 27th is not the first day. <laughs> uh, okay, you want to say the 27th is the first day? All right, that's the first day, guys. The 27th is Monday. <laughs> Oh, uh, would know this shit, man. If you didn't, you didn't do this shit like I do, man. You would not know this shit. What is this? The twentieth? Let's go in here. 
What the fuck, man? This is crazy. The 20th, let's go. Let's get to the 20th. Boom. There it is. Monday. So every fucking Monday, the week starts for trading. I'm going to try a different exchange, too. So I'm not just going to stay on this exchange. It could just be the exchange from Korea. But look at that volume candle on that week that we're in. <laughs> this is the, we got three more days of this week. Okay? Four days. Volume count. This is a volume count for four fucking days. Can you believe that? I can't. It's very hard to understand. That is crazy. All right? All right, let's pull a data window out. I read me eight. Let me pull the data window out. All right, we just look at these weeks right here. And there they go. Pop. We went up to 9,000. I don't know what the values are right here, but if I pull out my chart, I can figure it. Let's figure it out. Let's, I call it a chart when it's a calculator. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? $1. No. I'm looking at this, right? What is this? 960. 9 million 600. Nine million six hundred. All right. Popular conversions, huh? What if I just click that? Uh, okay, shortcut. TC. USD. I think typing is just the fastest shortcut. All right, so 9,610. That's close. All right, so we're looking at, damn, what the fuck? I'll put USD right here. Let's convert it. All right, boom, that's 17,000. What the? Man? So we went up to 17,000 on this day, July. Whoa, July. 23rd, 2018, $17,000 on that day, man. All right, so, I hope I'm, I got this shit right. 9500 yeah, that's right. Oh, hell no, that's not right. I said, I got one in front of it. I was about to say, that shit didn't look right. Come here. All right, how, do, how crazy do I sound, guys? That sounds pretty crazy, man. That's better. <laughs> I was about to say, like, God damn, I gotta get an account at Bitthumb right now. <laughs> VPN to the rescue. <laughs> All right, look, check it out. $8,600 at the top here. Boom, that's about right. All right, so boom, 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 boom. And right here we got 805, 8,055. All right, 8, 55. One, two, three. All right, 7,000 up here at the top. 7,200, all right. And then something selling it. But look at that volume here, okay? So at the current price, 77, if I could copy that, damn, stupid ass. Man, come on, trader, just get it together, baby, get it together. If I copy that, and they surely don't let you do a lot of things, man. All right, so um, I'll just give me the. Can I copy this? Damn, not a damn thing you can copy in here, man. Nothing. All right, fucking trade review, you suck. All right, seven seven. I'm but I'm still paying them, so I can complain, damn it, because I'm paying. All right, seven seven eight five five oh. oh there we go. 6,900. Interesting enough, you convert that Korean won over, okay? It's only, it's, it's less than $7,000 USD. So there's a premium out there for this Bitcoin right now. No wonder why they're buying that shit. Oh, no wonder. Okay. Now we gotta kinda think about that too, because they can come right over to America and dump it. Think about that. Could be doing that. 
You know, people are like, why are they selling and buying and selling? Why is, where is all this selling coming from? I don't know. I don't really know why they're doing it. I also think when we had that pop recently, you know, if I go down to the, let's see the hour, let's go to the two hour chart. And you know, I like the, I like the four hour chart. We had a pop. I want to see what it looked like. Here's the four hour. All right, let's go to the hourly. We had a pop right here. Then we start continuing to go up. All right, let me take off Akinashi. All right, we got a pop right here. I want to see what it looks like on. Uh, now here it is. This is what it looks like on Bitmax right here. All right, so we got a pop up here. What I'm, what I suspect to happen is this. This is what I'm trying to say. There is volume in this bar here. So for people that are saying, "Oh yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, volume was halt, trading was halted. This candle picked back up, and then this volume showed up after, after the trading resumed. It, it went up here. It sold down here. Some weird stuff, right? Okay, so look, I recorded it too. Um, I have to go pull that footage up. That's why I record everything. Swear to God, that is why. Swear to God, that's why I record everything. I'm about to go dig that up shortly. Now look, Bit Max halted trading right here, and the next thing you know, on every other exchange, a pop all the way up here. Right? Right? Right. Could they have went out and purchased Bitcoin? Think about that. They halt trading so they can go buy Bitcoin. Because why? Because when you deposit your Bitcoin and they give you leverage, they have to give you leverage on this Bitcoin. Now, they got to say, well, I'm giving you 100 times your dollar. So every dollar you put in, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll max out at $100. I'll give you $100 for every dollar. So they every Bitcoin, they got to go get 100 Bitcoin. For every Bitcoin, so they got halt trading. Take all that cash, go over there, buy a bunch of Bitcoin, come back, boom. That's what happened. How about that? How about that? Brought it to you live and direct. That's what probably most likely truly did happen. As far as coming back and selling it to who? Guess who? The short squeeze. All right, people down here got short. This is a short squeeze. This whole, this whole, this is a short squeeze, man. Come on, you know what this is. This means people have to, you know, they halted, bought it up, short squeezed them clients. They have, bam, they sold back all that fucking Bitcoin to their dumbasses and made a killing. Then they went and bought those Hong Kong offices that y'all don't know about. A million, no, five million dollars a month. Mm, that's how much the rent is pay for that shit doing this right here this candle from what let's look at this only bitmax can do this shit I'm telling you take a rocket sign it does take a rocket size seven hundred dollar price move volume candle what is it let's see what how volume do we have seven hundred and forty five million dollars okay that is over a billion over a half a billion man okay that is fucking three quarters of a fucking billion and one candle goodness they sold half of it down boom so I have to figure they made at least half of of three quarters does anybody know what half of 75 is just off the top of your head because I can't I can't do that type of math in my head if I try if I practice I probably could but let's just say 75 divided by 2 for Pete's sake it's 37 oh god oh god 40 percent 
all right profit boom and one like a couple of hours right here. this is what is this, one hour fuck man so 40 percent i'm gonna do a rough estimates of just say 300 just say 400 this is what it is 400 million dollars was made okay they made 400 million dollars right here with this move that's what they made 400 million dollars okay i'm done i'm done wrapping this up sealing it packaging it i'm about to deliver it i hope you guys like it all right wait before i go i did this last time let's uh remember last time i checked this and i was looking at the korean one i was like they're the leaders Remember, everything was red. Look, everything's green. I told you, when they move, everything else got to follow, man. There's a fucking Bitcoin fucking agenda out there in that country, boy. God. All right. What am I at? Where am I? There's monikins. Monikins. I just want to look at this on the weekly again. Let's go. Here's the weekly for BitMEX. Way too much volume. <laughs> All right, you can't. This is a, this is not. You can't look at this volume and be like, "Uh, why is it growing?" Because <laughs> more everybody's learning about Bitmax. They all want to fucking trade on Bitmax. Like I've been trading on. I've been trading on Bitmax since back when what? Fucking. I never mind. I'm not even going to that. I was. I've been building. I've been trying to build bots since February. And the market's been going down here, up, down, up, down. And it's like, I've been making money going down, man. Shh. Duh. All right, look. That's why I keep posting pictures of bears. All right, now look. Right now, this is interesting. I don't know if this, this is a fucking bullish case, though. I'm going to tell, tell you that. It's a bullish case. Now, let's go to the Korean one. Let's go to the Japan, J Japanese. Even if, even Bitflyer is not seeing that type of volume, so yeah, this is a this is a Korean significant event right here. Okay, damn, look at that volume and then, all right, okay, just imagine. It. That's it. Oh yeah, Hakanashi shows us a lot of better, a, a lot of better clear, a lot of better clear. What's happening with the price motion? Okay. This new week, not yet. But this week, it's turning green. We can't. Let me go now. Now let me go in and interpolate. Let me go into because uh, I can't really. I don't want to type in the value of this low here. I want to go into uh, Bitmax. Let's go to Bit Thumb. No, no. Let's go to Bitstamp. I right, hear it is right here. Boom. Let's look at this. <laughs> All right. Let me see. The point of no return. Remember that? It was green. Boom, boom. Drop down. We drop down. This value right here is what I'm going to zoom in on. The low of this candle. What is it? 6629. 6630. Ooh, nice number. 6630. No wick. All fucking gravity since then. Since this week started, we've been in an uptrend. That's what that takes. Since the 27th, we've just been up. We've been coming down and up. There's no bottom wicks. There's nothing coming down. This is a doji. Okay. That's a reversal. It's like this doji. Okay. This one's red though. I don't think the colors of the dojis they say don't matter. Alright. It doesn't matter. This is this candle before it. This is the candle before it. This is the candle before this doji. This is the candle before this doji. This is another significant move before we pop up. So expect this. Where's the volume? Volume, volume. These are weekly candles. Volume. Damn. And these people are selling to these Koreans that are just sucking up. They're in accumulation phase right now. That's a couple of countries are over there in Korea, by the way. All right. So, hmm. Interesting. All right. Interesting, all right. Just dug a little bit deeper into the, some of the stuff I posted earlier. I'm posting this again. This, this is incredible. 
uh, uh, technical analysis, by the way. I don't know what uh, Tom Vase is talking about, but I'll I'll check in over there and see because he's talking about. Oh, don't know if we're gonna hit five thousand. Uh, am I wrong? Is Tone wrong? Tone, five thousand is way down here. <laughs> I've been telling people back when back here, everybody's buying six thousand. People that are waiting for it to get to five thousand, they're gonna end up buying at eight thousand. Okay, that, a real true bull is gonna wait all the way till ten thousand before he buys back in the market anyway. So, you know, because they trying to drive price past twenty thousand, they looking at that twenty thousand. I'm getting in at ten thousand. I'm talking about what real, real traders are thinking. They're getting that around 10,000, man. Right there, about 10,000, right here. Your 5,000 is like, are you gonna be bullish at 5,000? Of course you are, but ain't nobody else gonna fucking allow the price to go down that far. They're, they're front running your dumb ass uh, tone veins. They're not letting the price go down to fucking 5,000, ever. Fucking ever going back to 5,000. You see that? Can you? I hope so. I think you can see now because some of your videos I'm telling you, hey man big ups I'm just criticizing critical okay critique if you want a positive word we're critiquing you're, 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 you're cool man you're, you're bearish like I am man. hey time to be bullish maybe alright unless I don't know who the fuck gonna sell bitcoin everybody's selling bitcoin so if one country can drive the price up when everybody's selling, what happens when, what happens? It's like, damn, y'all, we're nothing compared to Korea. Guys, that's what that tells you. Nothing compared to the Bitcoin interest in Korea. And they've been already buying digital. They've, they've already, like, in their, in, their, in their culture, they already accept digital currency. They've been doing it the wrong way for years they've been doing it through video games for years like if you have this many you know pokemon coin in your video game you can actually buy things with it but it wasn't decentralized it wasn't bitcoin now they got some real currency to fuck with of course they're going all in hell yeah they're going all in duh they already accept it you know perceived value out there for this digital currency is not like it is on the west at all their perceived value is, they're looking at this shit like, this is a fucking dream come true. I'm looking at it like that. So I must have a little Korean in me. I've been looking at it like that since I learned about Bitcoin. I'm like, damn, Bitcoin. Oh, you can't copy the coin. I was like, they solved the damn problem. I remember that was the biggest computer science problem since I started coding. I was like, if I could figure that out. But I could never figure no shit out like that. Come on. Me figuring out shit out. I already, I knew about Napster. And I still was like, yeah, you can copy anything now. That was the trade-off. Napster is basically like BitTorrent, all right? Basically, you got to group all the computers together and get them to stop making copies together. Duh. Damn, it was already built in Napster. Napster probably developed Bitcoin. <gasps> no, a BitTorrent guy? No, whoever's involved in BitTorrent or, you know, torrents in general, those are the guys that came up with Bitcoin. That's all I got to say. Done. I'm silly now. I really am done this time. All right. I'm selling this and, and I'm packaging it and I'm mailing it into YouTube for y'all to look at it and tell me what the hell you think. Man, stop playing. And look, back at Big Bull. Let's just check it out. All right. Just looking at it. <sighs> Big Bull went long right here. My automated trading strategy. Then everybody was looking at it like, oh, it's going down. It's going. I said, well, wait till it goes back up. And it went back up. Boom. I already knew it was going back up. That's why I didn't fucking panic sell like most people. Down here, they panic selling and that fucking market turns and reverses on your dumb ass. God, how could you be so naive? All right. I'm done.